with the rising rents of office buildings and, on the other hand, the convenience of working online, it is becoming very handy to use a room in the house as a home office. The advantages are obvious. You do not have to travel every day from home to the office. You can work at any time you want, even at night. And, of course, you do not have to pay an additional rent for the commercial premises. Having your own workspace can save you money and effort by using a very cheap solar energy system, but powerful enough to keep the computer running as long as the sun is shining in the sky, even during a power blackout. When working on a computer, one of the most fearsome enemies are the glitches or interruptions in electrical power, which can last a few seconds, which causes losses in unsaved information, or if they last all day, we must stop working, which can be fatal if we are in a hurry with an important job. A simple way to remedy those annoying situations is to have an uninterrupted power supply of the type used with computers to give you some time to save the information in case of a power failure. These backup supplies usually give us about three minutes to close our applications and turn the computer off. In our case, we can add to the original internal battery of the device a 250 watt solar panel and a compact car battery, with which the computer can continue working all day because the solar panel keeps the battery charged. A small, low-cost charge controller must be used in order to protect our battery against overcharging. With this, the computer will continue to run during a power failure, and as long as there is normally electricity in your home, the power backup will not be used. It will automatically turn off and the panel will keep the battery charged so it's ready when needed. You must have to add a few inexpensive components. This is the complete system. Please read the video description about the components needed. I hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.